So what we're really being introduced to here is the vastness of our own mind, the complete openness that is the basis of our own experience. And um, to discover that we can live a life that is completely free of suffering, to discover a life of complete freedom, to be able to meet each and every circumstance with just an openness that allows for immediately beneficial responsiveness is each human's birthright. And in this training there are very simple tools that you can use to integrate and to access your own beneficial potency in your everyday life. And it is absolutely key that each of us has the instinctive recognition of the nature of our mind of this great openness that is the basis of our own experience. And so to introduce yourself to this openness, just stop thinking for a moment. What remains? There's an alertness, there's an openness, there's the capacity to know there's something that's aware of the next thought that just spontaneously arises. So this is open intelligence. This is the openness of your intelligence. And the very simple practice in the Balanced View training is that for short moments, repeated many times, we simply acknowledge this openness. We allow this openness of intelligence just to become increasingly obvious by acknowledging it again and again. And so this practice is so simple and yet so profound. And it needs to be simple because it needs to be an effortless meditation that we can take with us in our everyday life. So nothing needs to change for you to relax for a short moment and allow yourself to be exactly as you are. And you can test that out right now with whatever you're thinking, feeling or sensing. You can just relax and allow it to be as it is without needing to describe it any further and acknowledge and notice that simultaneous to whatever you're thinking, feeling or sensing, that same openness that you identified when you stopped thinking is also naturally present. And then as you continue throughout your day, you repeat these short moments whenever you naturally remember in a completely relaxed way. So whatever you enjoy doing or whatever you find yourself doing today, whenever you naturally remember, just relax again and allow everything to be as it is, allow the flow of data, which is um, just a term to simplify everything, so your own experience. And, and data is just a thought, an emotion, a sensation, anything you, anything you can perceive or describe. And just for a short moment, allow that flow to be as it is, and acknowledge or notice open intelligence, what's looking through your eyes. So open intelligence is what's hearing, what's sensing, what's thinking, what's feeling, what breathes, what lives. This is open intelligence. And so this is such a simple practice and the simplicity means that it can be applied in everyday life. We don't need to have a particular set of thoughts or experiences to recognize open intelligence. We don't need to sit in a particular posture or be with particular people. We can practice this wherever we are and whatever we're doing. And as I tested out that suggestion, I began to notice that this, this vastness of mind, this great openness, this sense of ease and relaxation was actually always there. It, it never went anywhere. All that happened was that I got um, just caught up in the descriptions in terms of focusing in on the descriptions, on my thoughts and emotions, rather than just allowing them to be as they are and recognizing open intelligence, which was the basis of my thoughts and feelings and experiences. Now, along with the um, practice of short moments, what you'll find in Balanced View is a complete support package that, for me, was just so helpful because the habit of describing and focusing in on the endless descriptions that arise about what's going on was something that I'd been doing for, for decades. Um, so the introduction and the practice of short moments were very, very powerful and I began to see in my own experience this, um, this quality of beneficial responsiveness that 
and complete indivisibility that I'd glimpsed throughout my life. But there were some things that were just, they seemed to have this grip on me still. So we have a whole series of trainings, um, written texts that are so powerful. These words in these texts are so powerful that the complete confirmation as a, of our nature as open intelligence just grows brighter and brighter by reading them. We have trainers from all around the world that will support and share their experience, like, um, just like a really good friend that only sees the best in you and empowers you to be the best version of you that there is in a completely relaxed, easygoing way. And then the global community, other people that are also testing out what it means to live as open intelligence and how it looks for them in their lives and with the challenges that we face in our lives and how it looks to rely on open intelligence in different circumstances. So there's this complete support that really means that we can just relax and settle into our lives as open intelligence. It's, it's just so relaxing to um, just to rest naturally. And, and this is the practice of open intelligence and the practice of balanced view that we can test out for short moments and see how it works for us and what the results are. Um, it, it is quite for me it's quite funny, also a little bit sad, to see just how ingrained it was for me to um, reify data, which means to focus in on my thoughts, emotions and sensations and to try and make sense of everything just focused in on those. And the problem with that approach is that we're actually ignoring the nature of reality. Because the nature of reality, as you can discover for yourself right now, is that there is this vast intelligence, completely wide and clear, like a, like a clear sky, inclusive of all data, inclusive of all of your experience. And in a short moment, of just stopping all the describing and recognising this complete openness, you can see that the current moment perception is inseparable and part of that openness. So there's no way to separate out anything that we're thinking, feeling or sensing from this vast openness of mind, this open intelligence, that's actually continually opening, pouring forth all of this data, all of this experience. And um, it, 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 what was funny was to see the way that my mind worked and to see the way that for decades I'd been trained to use it in a particular way. Um, and even after the introduction, so I, I would take a short moment and that really just means resting without needing to adopt any fixed position from which to view. So it's an open intelligence that doesn't need to adopt any fixed position. It can simply rest as it is, completely wide open and clear. And so I'd take this short moment and I'd have these incredible insights. I would see things like the, the, the guaranteed self-release of the here and now which simply means seeing the way that things already are, that there's no way I could hold anything in place. So the thought that you're having right now, where did it go? There's no way that I can fix my experience or hold it tightly. And that's what I was trying to do by describing it, by thinking about it, by talking about it by avoiding it, by trying to change it into something else. And so here instead we just relax and allow it to be as it is for a short moment. And we have these incredible insights, we discover this increasing ease and openness and responsiveness. But then another thought pops into mind. I've seen this self-release and then another thought pops up. I've got a, you know, perhaps a feeling of, of discomfort or, and then the next thought will be, well, how, how should I, you know, how should I view this particular thought or experience or feeling? And that's the habit of trying to collapse into the descriptions again. So we repeat the short moment and I see that I don't need to have a fixed position on that thought either. I say, like, oh, it just happens so quickly, like instantaneously, this collapsing into the descriptions around the next thought. And so this is why the practice of short moments repeated many times is the complete instruction. And it really is just becoming playful with our experience and allowing it to be as it is again and again and again. 
and in that way gaining confidence and assurance in seeing that we can allow it to be as it is. And when we do this, what is opened and what becomes accessible and obvious is this spontaneous responsiveness that is always of benefit to ourselves and others. So the nature of our mind and the nature of all of our data is nothing other than pure benefit. But that cannot be seen whilst we're collapsed into all of the descriptions and trying to do something with them. Because that is then what we're busy with. And instead, when we just relax and allow everything to be as it is, all of the data, this stream of experience, becomes or is acknowledged as this beneficial potency. Our mind becomes this force for great benefit. Our speech changes. The way that we act and the way that we um, behave just spontaneously and effortlessly changes. It's not something we need to work out or contrive or um, force in any particular direction. We just rest as we are, as this great openness. And to do that in short moments is key because then we can see what happens when we do that. Because it's the complete opposite from what I'd been trained to do with my mind which was to think and think and think and think and then think about what I've been thinking about and think and think and think and think. And what I see now is that that is the essence of suffering. Because it never led me to the place that I thought or hoped that it was going to lead me to, a place where I was completely comfortable with who I was, where I understood the nature of reality, where I was able to have clear, powerful, loving relationships with everyone in my life, which is something I really wanted. And so when I came to this training, I could see that the way that I'd been living my life, with all these different strategies to kind of manage my experience, it was good because I came here because I could see it just wasn't working. And in many ways I'd had a great life, very privileged in many ways. And yet there was always a sense of something just something's not quite right. There's something just missing. And so I look for that in the descriptions. Is it more money? Is it um, a better intimate relationship? Is it better physical health? Is it a better diet? Is it being in a different place? And I looked and I looked and I looked in all of these descriptions. And I really did my best with trying to find what I was looking for there. But when I came to this training, something in me knew that I, it wasn't there. It's not in any of these descriptions, but then where is it? Where is it what I'm looking for? And with this introduction into this vast, open, relaxed potency of mind, just for that first short moment, there was a sense of, of coming home, a sense of relief, a sense of relaxation, a, a sense of recognizing that this is what I'd been looking for all along. Even if that, that recognition disappeared almost immediately because of this habit of my mind of thinking about things. And so just to come back and to be open enough to test out, you can test it for a day or for a week or for whatever works for you, what happens when you repeat these short moments throughout your daily life? What happens when you expose yourself to the potency of the trainings that are offered here? Like, like what happens? You can be like a scientist and test it out. And, um, and I had just enough openness to do that. And, and the results were amazing. I couldn't believe just how quick this recognition took hold and then settled in deeper and deeper. And the reason it was quick, because this is the natural way of living. The natural state of our mind is completely clear, wide open, relaxed, and incredibly potent. And something in me had known that. And when I heard these words, and when I read texts that just confirmed this, it was what I'd always been wanting to hear. This was the education that I'd been looking for at school and in university and books and conversations. This was the knowledge that I'd been seeking for. And here was a way that not just to understand it intellectually, but to live it, to make it a lived experience.